Do you not have a Google edition of your phone or you would like to use OK Google whenever and wherever you want? Well, after this tutorial, you'll be able to do just that. OK Google. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get OK Google wherever you want on your phone, whether it be inside an, of an application or whether it be on your home screen. I've tested this on Lucid Launcher. Uh, this has been reported to work on a multitude of different other launchers for your phone, but you'll be able to use the OK Google command wherever you want on your phone and we'll be able to configure it so you could just choose where exactly you want it to pop up. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your phone and then just go ahead and go to uh, your web browser. And then I will put the link for this on the description down below. I'll make it a shortened Google link as well. But we're gonna go to the Expose Module Repository. And when you go to the website, they will look just like this. Okay, and then we're gonna scroll down. This first one is the, the beta and experimental version. So we're going to keep on scrolling down until you see show older versions. So go ahead and select that and select the first one, which is version 261. Just go ahead and select that APK. All right. And it should download automatically. So you could just pull down and select the download right there, or you can navigate to it in your downloads folder. So just go ahead and navigate over to that APK. All right. So now you should be presented with this screen. If for any reason there's a, a message that pops up saying that you need uh, permissions, go ahead and go to settings and then check the unknown sources box and allow it uh, because this is considered an unknown source. So just go ahead and allow that and then you'll be able to install it. So next thing you want to do is hit install. And then this is the uh, Google message that pops up. You could just go ahead and hit decline. It's installing and then you want to go ahead and just open it. Cool, so now we're in. First, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Framework. It's gonna show you the, this message, you can read it, but everything's good, then go ahead and okay. And then as you see, our active version of our bundle is nil, there's nothing there. We wanna change that. So go ahead and hit in, install update. Go ahead and give it super user permissions. If you do not have root on your phone, please go check out my other videos on my channel. I'll show you how to do that. For firmwares running on Jellybean MJE and also NC2 KitKat, and I will be having an NC4 video coming out soon. Uh, okay, so what you wanna do is hit okay, and it's gonna go ahead and reboot. I also have a way to remove that custom symbol if you have rooted your phone. I'm gonna have an updated video on it. I have shown it in a previous video, but the quality is not to my liking, so I will be improving that. And safe strap. I'll also show you how to do safe strap if you like to. I have videos on that as, as well on my channel. All right, so once you're booted in, go ahead and unlock, and then navigate over to the exposed installer application. All right, so now you should be back here. Next thing you want to do is just go ahead and verify that the framework is good to go. Just hit OK on that. And you should be on active 5854 and it should match up with the bundled. OK, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and go back and then go to download. And the next thing you want to do is hit the search, the little magnifying glass, and then type in OK Google. So all I had to do is type in OK Goo, and it should be that first option right there that says OK Google for third-party launchers, apps, and 4, 4 Plus. So you have to make sure you're on KitKat. So you have to be on 4.4. .4. So this will work on anything that's 4.4. .4. So I'm currently on 4.4.2. And as you can see, I am on Android version 4.4.2, and I'm actually on NC4 now. So for those people that have been keeping up, I have the baseband NC4 and as you can see my build number is NC2 but there's a reason for that so please look out for that video it will be coming out pretty soon and uh, I'll clear all that up so I am on 4.4.2 so it will work for me so going back 
go ahead and select it and then this will give you a description as you see right here the tested OEM launchers Xperia stock HTC Sense 6 TouchWiz and LG launcher it's all worked on all of those and supported launchers all launchers as of 1.2 so everything seems to be working on the launchers and with third-party applications such as Twitter Facebook uh, Dropbox any other application you might have on your phone uh, that's just a hit and miss but I haven't had any issues they seem to work with everything so then go ahead and swipe over to versions and then hit download and if for some reason you get some kind of error here on downloading it's probably because you're not on 4.4. something you have to be on 4.4 KitKat for this to work so expose installer is able to catch that okay so go ahead and hit install and then decline on this again and you're good to go so go ahead you can go ahead and hit open and then hit select activities and as you see here are all my applications on my phone and just as an example I'm gonna do it on one of them so I'm gonna scroll through here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Firefox and then these are all the little these are all the files, the system files that Firefox uses. And what you could simply do, just to make sure you get all of it, I really haven't tinkered with it and gone in specifically selecting certain ones. The easiest method to do it, just hit all activities and OK Google will be active on all of these. So any of these files that, that Firefox uses, it will work. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and hit back. And just to verify, I'm gonna go back into it and you see they are still all blue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit back and then back once more and then back again. Alright so once we're back here you can go ahead and hit this little down arrow and then go to modules and go ahead and make sure that OK Google for third party activities is checked. So go ahead and check that. Alright and then what you want to do from here just to make sure that everything is good and that this will work Go ahead and restart your phone real quick and you can do that by simply holding the power button and hitting restart and then OK. So go ahead and unlock it and I'm going to go to Firefox and I'm going to go ahead and test it. OK Google. And there we go. Now OK Google is fully functioning in Firefox. So just to try it again. OK Google, there we go. So the best thing to do really is to just play around with it and go into where I showed you within the OK Google for third party applications inside of the Expose installer. Just make sure you go in there and then just play around with it. If you have a third party launcher, then go ahead and select it just like we did with Firefox and select all activities to activate it. And then you should have OK Google working within any area of your launcher. Now I have the Nova launcher so when I'm in the home screens that's really the only time that I use OK Google uh, and Nova launcher already has that built in so there's really no need for me to to activate that with the Expose installer but what this Expose installer module allows is for you to use it within various applications and not just your home launcher. The only thing it does not work with is when your phone is off. When your phone is off, it's not going to work. And that's the only drawback, if you could call it that, with this. There are actually many other ways for you to get OK Google working on your phone with third, third party applications. So I'm probably going to be making more videos on those soon. So please be sure you subscribe so you get those as soon as they come out. So that's it for now, guys. I wanted to show you that quick little trick that I use on my phone daily. I hope you found this informative. If you have found this informative, please be sure to give me a like and share this video so more people can be enlightened by it as well. Last but not least, please be sure to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos there dealing with the Verizon Note 3 and then just other general tech help videos. And subscribe so you can see all the new videos that are be coming out soon, as soon as they come out on your timeline. Alright guys, my name is Serge. I'll see you next time.